Coming soon, new TriPoint Homes neighborhoods. And that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll. Whoa. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I'm Damian Barton, Angela's sidekick. And today we're going to be going over a handful of new TriPoint Homes neighborhoods yeah. that will be coming soon to the Las Vegas Valley. This is very exciting news. As many of you know, TriPoint Homes is one of my favorite builders because of the design aesthetics, the mid-century modern look, the asymmetrical roof lines, and they're just overall a great builder. Yeah. Right? At the end of last year, TriPoint Homes announced that there will be a total of nine new neighborhoods coming across the Las Vegas Valley. Um, and they range in different sizes and price points that will help all types of purchasers from all types of family, families, from single family homes to townhomes, okay? So what we're gonna do is just go over, there's gonna be four right now that we know of, and one had already just recently opened. So we're gonna go over bonus. the four and then the bonus. Mm -hmm. So I'll let you go over the first one. Sure, let's head over to the Northwest, over at Arrow Peak, and meet the latest star in the Kyle Point community. Arrow Peak by TriPoint Homes will be coming soon to Kyle Point, and Kyle Point is the newest planned community in Northwest Las Vegas. Now this is an all single story community with three different floor plans to choose from, ranging in size from 2,017 square feet to 2,337 square feet, with three to four bedrooms, two to three and a half bathrooms, and two car garages. Prices will be in the mid 500s. Yeah, and I like the fact that it's another all single story community. And TriPoint recently, back in April this year, opened up um, Alpine Ridge, which is another all single story community. Um, and so Kyle Point is a new master plan community just right off of 95 and Kyle Canyon. It's gonna be super close to the new Kyle Canyon Gateway. There's KB Homes right mm -hmm. over there, and it's on the way to Mount Charleston. Charleston. So TriPoint is also anticipating to open three more communities in Kyle Point. So that is part of the nine communities that will be coming soon by TriPoint. It's gonna be Adler, Citrine, and Crestview, but we don't know any other information. Now, the nice thing about Arrow Peak is it's going to be opening up in July. Mm, okay. Okay. So that's good information to know. Now we're heading over to Summerlin to Vertex, and this is in the Red Point Square Village, and it's actually going to be close to Arroyo's Edge. Okay. All those TriPoint homes are super close together. This is going to be a townhome community, and all the models were designed by Bobby Berg, which is a designer from the Queer Eye series. Love that series, love Bobby Burke's designs. He's gonna bring a little mid-century modern touch to all of the model homes here. Anticipated pricing is gonna be around the high mid 400s. Nice. And um, they are gonna have four different floor plans to choose from. Again, these are townhomes, ranging in size between 1790 square feet to 1914 square feet with two to three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and two car garages, and I can't wait to see it. Is that gonna be in the far hills on the west side of the 215 near the mountains? Is that where Vertex is gonna be? It's, uh, well, you get off of 215 to far hills, and okay. then you wanna go up a little ways. It's right across from Arroyo's Edge. Ah, perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Also in Summerlin is Tempo, and coincidentally, this opens in July as well. And this is one of the newest neighborhoods in the Cliffs Village. And there are three two-story floor plans to choose from. And these are ranging in size from 2,261 square feet to 2,877 square feet with three to four bedrooms, two and a half to three and a half bathrooms and two car garages. And this is anticipated to be in the mid 500s. 
Yeah, that's pretty awesome. We're trying to figure out today, we drove in the Southwest and we went down Russell and we saw the sign for Tempo. And we're still trying to figure out where exactly in the Cliffs Village this is going to be. Um, soon as we find out for sure, I mean, I'm sure they have the model homes that they're gonna anticipate opening in July. Right. So we need to find out. But as soon as those model homes are open, you believe it, we're gonna be doing videos for all of these communities. So subscribe to this channel because we'll, we'll definitely be having that on the channel here soon. I know it's somewhere around Patrick and Hualapai, I believe in this area. Yeah, so exactly. We'll update you. Yeah, usually Hualapai is the cutoff for Summerlin South. So anything, I guess is it uh, south? Would it be east, would be east, east of Hualapai would not be? I don't know because the, how the <laughs> mountains rotate. It kind of moves. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, now we're gonna head over to Henderson and it's called High View. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be in Inspirata and this is also another townhome community that's gonna be similar to the townhome community of Vertex and Summerlin. And they're just a little different in size. Bobby Burke is also going to be designing the model homes for this community as well. So that's pretty awesome to know that. And I anticipated demand. pricing are going to be in the mid 300s. Now, as you know, yeah, as you know, Summerlin tends to be a little more expensive than the rest of the valley. So especially in Sprata, uh, that's why the prices are the mid 300s compared to probably the mid or high 400s in Summerlin. Mm. Okay. So location, location, location. again, a townhome community with four different floor plans to choose from, ranging in size between 1640 to 1924 with two to three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms and two car garages. So I'm super excited to see what these look like. Um, they had Contour, I do believe, down in Inspirata area that were all townhomes but I've never seen a townhome community in Summerlin by TriPoint Home, so that's going to be pretty awesome to see. Um, and then if you know anything about the Red Point Square Village, those are more condensed um, homes with smaller yards and they have a lot of condos and townhomes in the Red Point Square Village. And um, I'm actually anxious to see if there's going to be TriPoint in the Kestrel Commons or the Kestrel Village because I have not heard anything about that opening up. Um, and, and those villages. It would be nice to know if there were some TriPoint homes in there. We will search and find the answer. Yes. I was super excited when I found out that TriPoint was anticipating open nine new neighborhoods here mm -hmm. in the Valley. Um, again, because as I said, it's one of my favorite builders. And if you buy outside of Summerlin, like over there in the Kyle Point Master Plan community, you have Arrow Peak coming soon and then the Alpine Ridge, mm -hmm. which are beautiful single story houses. Um, when Damien and I went to go look at it, they sold out the first weekend they opened up I know, it's and crazy. they already had a, a huge wait list for their next lot release, which is only like releasing four at a time. So if you're interested in any of these communities and you want to get in at the lowest price before mm -hmm. each lot release, they increase the price. It would be in your best interest to contact me. We'll go down and look at it together so you can get on the interest list or um, get the first few lots that are released. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is when you buy in the beginning of the community, each lot release or phase, they always increase the price. So by the time the community is completed, you have gained equity because you bought in the very beginning. Now, sometimes though, when you do buy in the beginning, you have to compromise with either price or views. Yeah. Oftentimes the better lots are not released right away. So there's there's a lot of pros and cons to buying in the beginning and there's a lot of pros and cons to buying at the end. And the construction. Yes. So mm -hmm. if you buy in the beginning, you're going to be living through the whole construction for a year or two. Mm -hmm. If you buy at the end, you might buy it higher, but you don't have to deal with the construction. Pros so and cons. There's pros and cons to That's why you need Angela. Yes. And the most important thing is if you want to look at these communities and you're interested in buying in them, you need to bring your agent with you on the very first visit. If you do not, I will not, or they will not be able to represent you. And the most important factor is that I'm free. Okay. You're free. I'm free. You're free. I am the best advice for new construction for you. And it's best to have an agent on your side when you buy new construction because the builder's agent is looking out for the builder's best interest while I am looking out for your best interest. And she eats and breathes this every single day and this is what she does. Yes, exactly. 
So if you're thinking about buying new construction anywhere in this Las Vegas Valley, even Henderson or North Las Vegas, you can call me at, oh, I'm on, 702-370-5112. Yes, exactly. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> oh, hot, hot. Yes. But most importantly, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel because I talk a lot about new construction here in the Valley. Thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you on the next video.